Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for past love, someone that you have history with. I will post a new love reading, so make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember, energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. coming back welcome back if you are new here welcome just so you're aware i do not read reversals so if a card comes out in the reverse i will flip it upright this is just how i've always read tarot just so you're aware i couldn't help but see that five of swords all throughout the shuffle um could have been mind games or like self-sabotage in some sort of connection here only take it if it resonates um We'll see how this person feels about you, Taurus. Um, now, I do love readings. Love can obviously be romantic. Um, love can be friends. Love can be family. It doesn't have to be someone you necessarily have been disconnected from. So take it as it resonates. Energy is fluid. It could be picking up on more than one person. Use your intuition. Okay. There's someone here who, like, they're very aware they did not prioritize this connection, or they don't prioritize this connection, and they might even, like, get defensive about that, but they're coming in with an apology here, at least they want to apologize here, why the Page of Cups? Um, they could have broke your heart, they could have put you in a third-party situation, right? Third party doesn't always have to be um, another romantic person, it could have been they prioritized work, or family, or friends, or even, like, themselves over the connection, right? They, um, there's heartbreak here, but you know what? This person's heartbroken. This person broke their own heart because they didn't, they didn't prioritize this. They didn't put, it's like you saw them put more effort into other things or other people, other circumstances, other situations. And then if you brought it up, they would get defensive. They could have been, like blocked, unblocked you. This could, person could be younger than you. They don't have to be, but there's definitely like an emotional immaturity here that you might feel this person has. Like they don't know how to properly apologize or probably acknowledge what they've done. They just, they get defensive. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Eight of cups. Like this person was emotionally unavailable. They could have been deceitful. They also debate like, should I just walk away from this completely? Should I just you know, remove Taurus from my life, from my mind completely. Maybe they see you as someone who's walked away, so they don't even know if you would take them back, if you would accept their apology that they're thinking about giving you Taurus. This is someone who did it to themselves, though. It's like you made your bed, now lay in it. That's the kind of energy I get from you, Taurus, or even if you're a cross watcher, that like, I just feel like you look at it like you did what you did. So like, now you want to cry about it or now you want to be upset about it. No, like you need to um, own up. And this person has a hard time owning up. When they do own up, I always get with the Page of Cups, it can be an apology, but it feels like it doesn't match what happened. So even when this person owns up, it kind of feels like like, like a half, half apology. <laughs> like they're only acknowledging some of it or it's not, it's not heartfelt enough or I'm not, yeah. Anything else about how this person feels? Temperance. The moon, the queen of swords. They feel like it's just a matter of time. A matter of time before the two of you come back around again, before the two of you have some sort of conversation here. They actually see you as someone who's very intelligent, very aware of their inner self. You've done a lot of reflection. You know yourself really well, but you also know this person really well. Yeah. Yeah. You were patient with them. You tried to compromise. You tried to, you know, show them that you were willing to work on this. And I feel like they prioritized other things or other people. 
they got defensive, they were emotionally unavailable, and it, I, I feel like it resulted in you almost in this Queen of Swords energy. Like you're at this point where you're like, I just have to have boundaries with you now. Even if we are still friends or we are still family or we're staying together or whatever it is, like it's like I have boundaries now. This person actually sees you as very strong, Taurus, someone who knows themselves but knows others really well. Like you're really good at like reading people, um, understanding their inner world because you understand your own inner world very well. So this person could be a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Um, let's see their actions towards you, Taurus, in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Ace of Swords. Definitely a conversation coming in here. What? what about what? Ace of Swords. I just get this energy like, as I'm pulling these cards, Taurus. Like... You're just like, what? Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want to talk about? Like, what now? Ace of Swords, please. They're rushing in to tell you, though. King of Cups, three of... They want to work together on... They're hopeful. Ooh, they want to fix this, Taurus. They want to fix this. And the way that they're going to go about this is to maybe even offer you something. Support you in some way. Give you money. Offer you a job. I don't know. Um, do something at work to help you out. I don't know. This is someone who's like, I'm going to show you because I want to work on this here with you. I want to, I want this to us to figure this out, Taurus. Now, whether or not you want to is a different story, but this is someone who's like, I got no time to waste. I need to let Taurus know I care about them. I want this, you know, um, I'm hopeful for the future. What I'm not loving about this, and maybe this is what you're not loving about this, Taurus, is that this came through for, I think, Leo. Yeah, for for Aries or Leo. So if you have either of those in your chart or you're dealing with either of those signs, it could be um, a reading for you that I just posted. I get this energy like, yes, they're, they want to tell you how they feel. They're hopeful. They want to work together. They see a future with you. They, you know, want to fix this, heal this. But they don't want to talk about what's already happened. No, maybe you don't want to either. Maybe you're okay with that. But just be aware of that. I feel like this person is like, Let's just move forward. I just want to fix this. Can't we just focus on fixing this? Anything else? Yeah. Oof. The tower and the wheel of fortune coming out together. Oh my. Scorpio energy here. So expect the unexpected here, Taurus. You might not expect this person to come back and have a conversation with you, but they are. They're, this is like divine timing. This is someone who's like, they can't hold back anymore. They feel like it's finally time to tell you. They have to let you know what's what is going on with them, how they want to work together here with you. Well, how do they? Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. They see things from a different perspective now, the Hanged Man. I don't know what was said or done or how much time has been between the two of you has passed, but this person sees things from a different perspective. So they're hopeful that this can shift things between the two of you. This conversation, tell me more about the Ace of Swords, this conversation that they have with you Taurus is they're hopeful that things can change between the two of you. Now, we got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Five of Wands. This person might be very straight with you. Look, I um, there's a disagreement here on what commitment looks like or what putting effort in looks like. You might have more... Um, you have your views on what it means to be, say, a good friend or a good partner or a good family member. And this person does. Like, there's almost like a rigidity here. And so I feel like this person's like, well, this is how I see it. So this is how we can move forward if you're willing to. Right? So just be aware that there might be like con conflicting values here. You see things differently than this person does. But they want the commitment here still. They still want you in some way they still want you in their life but there's tell me more about the five of ones there's differences in opinion here differences in yeah it's just it might even be like i gotta think about this i gotta think if this is actually like worth it i feel like this person has also thought a lot about why the fights and why the drama happened between the two of you they understand it now more. They understand their rigidity. They understand that they um, have maybe had rules or traditions or 
ways of being that just didn't co like align with you. And so they get it now. They want to let you know that. I just get this energy though, Taurus, where you're like, I don't know if I can fully trust this yet. Like you're coming out of nowhere. Yeah, this maybe feel this feels like a good turning point, but like I don't know if I can just um, let you back in right away. So we have strong Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. My sage is still going. It's very faint. I don't know if you can see it, Taurus. The little smoke line there. Whenever my sage burns longer than even like a few minutes into the reading, it tells you that there's a lot of energy that needs to be cleared. Um, maybe there's a lot of history between the two of you. A lot of things need to be processed through. Maybe it's just on this person's end, right? There could be like resentment built up. Cause yeah, I see that five of swords again. I just feel like there could have been mind games here. There could have been like sabotage in some way, but let's see, let's see this person's true intentions towards you, Taurus. So expect conversation out of nowhere. Four of swords. Again, they've thought really hard about this, about what they want to say. Ten of Pentacles, they want you. They want you in their life. They don't want to let this go. Five of Cups, they regret a lot, Taurus. This is someone who holds a lot of shame, a lot of should have, could have, would have energy when it comes to you. They're like, I should have done better. I just want Taurus back in my life. But they don't necessarily want to talk about all the things that they've done. Yeah, Knight of Swords, they just want to move forward here. Page of Pentacles, let's just be friends. Let's start fresh. Um, they want to show you how much you mean to them with that Empress energy at the bottom there. This is definitely someone who wants to build, like have you in their life for a long time here. That's for sure. But they kind of want to run away from their own past here. They just want to start fresh with you. They just want to see if the two of you can figure this out. Look at judgment and the ten of swords. Can I have another chance after this betrayal, after this ending, Taurus? Can we start over here? You're getting 10-10. They feel like they've learned a lot about themselves and so they want you, they want, it's like they want you to know what they've learned about themselves. So their intention here is to leave the past in the past, show you that they've thought a lot about everything and to start over, even if it is just as friends here. What's the potential outcome then? Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Honestly, again, I feel like you're you're willing, yeah, the Fool, you're willing, Taurus, to give this a chance to see, right? Okay, fine, let's see, like, how this goes, but you're not, like, you're not attaching yourself to it. You're like, I'm not gonna let this person disappoint me again. I'll see how they want to work with me, right? You're still maintaining your confidence. You're still working on yourself. You're still like, I'm going to be over here and I'm good no matter what happens between the two of us, right? But if you're going to show me that this is new and this is fresh, go ahead, show me it's new and it's fresh. You're going to have to earn it. I feel like you're not emotionally invested in this. You're not just like jumping back in. You're not just like, okay, great. I'm so happy that they're back or whatever it might be. You're like, let me, let me take this slow. Sure, I'll give you another chance because I feel like you're a forgiving energy, Taurus. Um, and for some of you, you might be sitting there like, nope, no way. I'm never, you know, giving this person another shot. If that's the case, there could just be something something new that comes in here that you're you're more interested in. You're walking away from this past energy to be like, let me just discover the new, right? Let me just pull on that. If that, Because you did get the three of pentacles. If that's the case, what's this new? The moon could be with a uh, Pisces, four of pentacles, six of wands, knight of cups. Yeah, it could be something new here. Yeah, ace of pentacles, a brand new energy here that's a little bit mysterious, maybe in the public eye in some way. Maybe you've seen them around or you know about them, but there is potential for um, feelings to develop there if you choose to walk away from this first energy. Right. If it's not that and you're giving this person a chance, I feel like, again, it's like you're still keeping a bit of like mystery to yourself. You're not letting this person in fully. 
right? You're still focusing on whatever you're doing um, at work or like your friends are just really admiring you or I don't know, you're doing something, people are looking up to you for it. You're just focusing more on that. If this person comes in and offers like a nice gesture or whatever, sure, great. But again, I don't feel like you are emotionally attached to it. How will Taurus know who this is? How will Taurus know? Ace of Swords, someone who wants to talk. Someone who might be a chatterbox a little bit, actually. Um, the World, Eight of Pentacles. Someone who talks a lot about the changes that they're going to make. And maybe that's why it was frustrating for you, because they didn't actually do them. They just talked about it. Two of Swords, yeah. Someone who could have been indecisive. Two of Pentacles, again. Someone who prioritized other things. Someone who, like, it's like every time you thought that they were going to make a strong decision and, and go in that path, do that thing, they they might have veered or they might have not even done it. And you were like, I thought you were going to do this or I thought this was happening. And they just sort of put a halt to it. Any advice, of course? Three of Wands, King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. You kind of have a feeling that this time is coming to, you kind of had a feeling this person was going to come back around. So see it for what it is. See their energy, their actions for what it is. Right? I feel like this time around you're again you're just you're emotionally detached and that's not to say you have no feelings it's just like you can you're more of wow can I speak more of an observer Taurus you're like okay I'm not gonna let the same cycles repeat again like I see that you're here I see what you're hoping for for the future but like I know what I want and I can I it's almost like you were like caught in a cloud before in this person's cloud, this cloud of this relationship, this connection. And now you're, you're like stepped out of it. And you're like, I can see it exactly for what it is. So go ahead, show me if you want to show me, but I'm not necessarily going to go for it. Eight of wands. You know what I got? If this person tries to move things along too quickly, that might be, yeah, that's too stressful for you. Ten of wands. You're like, no, like I... It's almost like you've adjusted to being without this person, Taurus. So for them to just come back in and be like, let's fix things. I'm hopeful. You're like, okay, but wait a second. Like, slow your roll. I'm not jumping into this right away. That's how that feels, Taurus. Let's see. Horseshoe. Good luck. Okay. I like that. Um, bell announcement. You might have something coming in here. Because you did get the Wheel of Fortune there. Moon, changes in your life. Wow, Taurus, what's happening here? Peacock, beware of great pride. Okay. And Cain, pay attention to your health. I wonder what it's like. It's got like good luck, changes, big announcement. Tulip, great passion. Perhaps you're making a change in like what you do for work or something like that. Feel very passionate about it. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. That's what I feel. I feel like this person's wish is for you to just come back into their life like everything's fine. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Yeah. Box, you will receive a gift. Yeah. I feel like this person could gift you with something. But what is this announcement? Good luck. Changes in your life. What is that? Page of one. Some sort of new idea. Some sort of new venture here. Expect the unexpected, the tower, the emperor. You're going to be a boss with it. You're going to be a boss with whatever this is. You're going to be the leader. You're going to take initiative. And it's just, you're taking action and it's working. If it's not a project here, this could just be this new person coming in. If there is, if you feel like there's someone new coming in here. There's an interest here, but this is could be an Aries. Someone who's... Um, very much very much takes initiative doesn't wait for you like they just go for it okay what are the hidden messages from this first person though taurus i always feel like your readings are so um intense <laughs> um two re two energies don't always come through but i felt that no one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. So again, this person feels very strongly about you, but they don't necessarily say it. You came closer than anyone. I am keeping secrets from you and I hope you don't find out. I will pull a card on that. I feel empty and hollow inside. I can't open up right now. I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. Yeah. This person 
Ravens energies. It's this one. I love you. This person just wants to move along. They expect to just come back in when they're ready and then things to just uh, be good. I cannot listen to your voice. It affects my soul. There's a big hole in my heart that I cannot fill on my own. This person has multiple cards of like feeling empty. I hide behind material things. That could also be what this person's doing. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, so what is this keeping secrets? What is I'm keeping secrets? Six of Cups, something from their past. From their past here. Could even just be that they're thinking about the two of you all the time. Six of Wands, you're getting six, six. The Empress and the Devil. It could be something that from their past that they're still connected to. Right, the Empress, the Devil here, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra energy. What about that? What about... They could have told you, like they could have ghosted from this connection, but they're not actually. The Queen of Wands, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's having your cake and eating it too i don't know they're connected with someone else here from their past that they're still that might even be a karmic or something like that that they still haven't let go of but like almost like in public or to the public eye you would think that they have nothing to do with each other so just be aware of that we did get no so if you were asking yourself a yes no question and it's up to you. Yeah, Taurus. Again, it's really up to you. I got like pretty um, different potential outcomes there, which doesn't always happen for you, Taurus. So it could be that you walk away from this person. It could be that you just give them a chance but aren't attached. Growth, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Right? You just, you see things for what they are. I just get that very strongly, Taurus. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I don't know what fear could be coming up between you and this person, but face it with confidence. Write that in the comments, Taurus. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. I don't know if you feel like you're in loops with this person, but the point is, is that whatever this situation is, no matter how hard it may seem or difficult, you've done it before, you can overcome it. Um, you got milk and honey. Interesting. Because I feel like you're in this good energy and then this person almost like comes in and like is like trying to like disturb it here with that tower. They said put those back. Okay. There it is. Thank you. Time to go. Number 45. So milk and honey is number 51. And it says sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. You have a lot of good in your life, Taurus. I feel like you know this, but just practicing that gratitude can be really powerful because I feel like this other energy kind of comes in and tries to like, like I said, they come in, they feel like they're ready to move along, so you should be ready to move along. Even if, appear, even if it appears that you've reached the end of a line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later, so consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural, as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Um, I also just feel like the need to read the essential meanings of that card. So where is it? 
endings, completion, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience. Right? So, yeah. This person will continue to resurface is kind of how it feels towards. Um, but if you still have questions, check out my link in the description box. Um, you can connect to a love psychic there. Your first five minutes will be completely free. Um, there's also a code for 10% off. So check that out. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got G, V, Q, N, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Taurus, so I hope something resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.